give me a few minutes and I'm gonna leave you alone. First thing you gotta do if you wanna stay strong is you got to remember the true source of your power. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, if you want to stay strong, you got to remember the true source of your strength, of your strength. Samson, like Samuel, was a man whose mother had made a bargain with God before he was born. His mother was barren and she had no children, but she made a promise to God, the angel of God came to his mother and said, you're barren, but I'm going to give you a child, but these are the conditions. Your child is going to be a Nazarite. And not only is he going to be one, you're going to be one while you're carrying him. What that means is that means that there was a thing in Israel that if you wanted to consecrate yourself to God, you could set up a period of time, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, that you would consecrate yourself to God. And during that period, you wouldn't drink any alcohol, any strong drink, any vinegar, wouldn't even eat grapes. Then you wouldn't associate or touch a dead body. You would consecrate yourself, but the main thing is you would not shave your hair. A razor would not come to your hair, and so your hair would grow continuously. So the angel said to her, you're going to have a son, but while you're having this son, while you're pregnant, you no alcohol, don't shave your hair, don't, you're going to consecrate yourself while you're having the son. Now typically, when a person is a Nazarite, they do it 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, but the angel said, your son will be a Nazarite his whole life. Not just 60 days, not just when he's born, but his whole life, he is to live this life of consecration. And so the power that Samson had was a power of holiness and consecration. His true power, his true source of strength came from that. It did not come from exercise, it came from exaltation. It did not come from running, it came from reverence. It did not come from walking, it came from worship. It did not come from his hair, it came from his holiness. And when people look at Samson, they look at Samson and see his hair, but don't realize that the hair is just the outward sign of an inward consecration. It's the inward consecration that pushes out the hair. And so that means you can't go to the store and buy the hair and put it on your head. Because the consecration comes from the inside. 